Okay, so I imported this part from uh, from SolidWorks, and uh, I just wanted to see if I could model it in uh, Solid Edge. So here I am. I'm going to draw a spline in Solid Edge, and and I sped this part up because it was kind of dull. But anyway, I'm holding down the Alt key while I'm doing this. It works the same way in SolidWorks. It avoids picking up uh, relationships to the edges um, so that I can move things around freely later on. Okay, now here here's a pretty cool thing uh, that you can't do in SolidWorks. If you hold down Alt and you click on a point, it goes away. And even if it's an endpoint, just like that, see, I just got rid of an endpoint of a spline. And so it backed up the length of the spline. I thought that was pretty cool. That's something you can't do in SolidWorks. And uh, it really, really makes it nice in uh, Solid Edge. Okay, I got a couple of lumps in there. I'll come back and, um, and fix them later on. I'm going to add another, uh, another spline here. And then it gets, it gets sped up again here. I made a little mistake and then I got started again. So this is sped up even more. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the shape in here, but I'm going to tweak a couple of things. Um, I, I tried to, uh, to equate some solid edge things to SolidWorks in, in terms of the views. Um, there is a button for fit, but that's on the, you got to go to the view tab to get there. Um, I, I assume there's probably a, uh, hotkey for it, or you can write one, but, uh, there are some standard ones like Control F is a front view. Control B is either back or bottom. Okay, so here's here's drawing another spline. I'm going to going to create what in SolidWorks would be a projected uh, projected curve. In Solid Edge, it's called a cross curve. So I've I've made the uh, kind of that top view line, and I've made the view from from the side so here I am with the cross curve and click on one curve right click click on the other curve right click and then I could right click again to say finish um, all right so now it's it's kind of hard to see it but it's in there the uh, uh, the cross curve is is in there and uh, you'll see it more clearly a little later on oh uh, I'm fumbling around at this point trying to hide the body. So uh, and I've just done that. Now I'm going to extrude this sketch as a reference. Well, it's not really a, the whole sketch. It's just kind of the chain or the loop. So I'm going to ex extrude that. Notice that I'm using ordered features now. I transitioned to ordered so I could start making... Um, history-based features. And uh, when you're making surfaces, that's really that's really the way you have to do it. You can keep your sketches in the synchronous. Okay, but here I'm creating what they call a key point curve, which is halfway in between a, uh, a spline or a 3D spline and a uh, uh, a curve by XY, a uh, curve by not the curve by XYZ points, but the other curve in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, curve by reference points. And notice that you can set the tangents, and the tangents go the wrong way, So, but they're easy to make them go the other way. So this is this is actually pretty nice. Uh, this is, uh, you know, if, if SOLIDWORKS were going to uh, do something that improved their, uh, their 3D spline capability, they'd do something like this, I think. Uh, okay, so now I've got to make another one of these uh, these key point curves. Well, click on the end point of one, click on the end point of the other, uh, right click to stop the creation, go over to the, uh, whoops, I messed up. Okay, so I'm going to click on here, edit the curve, go back to that curvy thing, change that to tangent, change this one to tangent, use that little green ball to push this the other way. I have to say some of the controls in, in solid edge at high resolution, it's like an eye test. 
they're they're very small and very very difficult to select i think in comparison to solidworks maybe but uh in any case now i've got that that 3d edge that goes all the way around half the part anyway and i'm going to uh, select the blue surf and create a blue surf here so i'll select this edge and this that select box where i just put single that's kind of like the selection manager in solidworks so what I'm, i've just done is i've just changed to uh direction two essentially and i'm making these little uh key point curves as direction two now this makes me a little bit uncomfortable because um because technically this is creating a, a degenerate point down there at the very tip of the handle but a uh, solid edge handles it nicely i must say i mean we're not trying to shell this part out or offset the surface or anything but um okay now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to add some curves okay i'm using that plane normal to curve and, and i can click on the curve and it gives me a plane and it's showing me cross sections and so i can place that cross section anywhere i want solidworks can do this in a loft feature but it can't do it in a boundary feature and this is uh this is actually pretty nice solid edge does a real nice job on this you can you can place the curve wherever you're surface is a little wonky to give you some additional control okay so now what i'm going to do is get rid of extra surface and i don't need finish off the uh the blue surf and uh now i'm going to go in here and edit this curve that i added okay click on it and hit that second icon it's got too many points on it so i right click simplify and the default value that they come up with is usually pretty good. And now I'm going to set a relationship, a vertical relationship between the end point and that control point. That gives me that tangent going right into the plane of symmetry. Um, now I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I'm looking for that little... <laughs> there, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to pull that out and give this a little bit of shape then exit the sketch and then I just need to click finish or right click and the uh, blue surf will come back okay there we are so now I'll go up and edit another one of these curves that I've added uh, this one is where the surface is a little wonky here select that uh, to edit it and I'm going to add another one of these vertical relations between the end point and the first control point. Um, and then I'm going to make an edit that doesn't really work out. Uh, so now I'm going to right click and simplify. And that's much nicer. Okay. I'll click on it again to just to give it some body. Uh, okay, close the sketch and get out of it. Okay, now that's much better, much better. Some of the controls on the splines are a little bit difficult to differentiate from one another, and uh, maybe they, if they use different colors or different shapes or something. Um, between the, the control points on the curve and the control points off the curve, it would be nice to see some sort of differentiation or make it clear as to what you're selecting. Right here, I just went through and turned off a bunch of those sketches that I had just added. Uh, it's very nice having that list, being able to go through and just turn things off. Now I'm going to use a derived curve. Uh, not exactly sure why. I worked with uh, Dan to work to get through this workflow. But uh, the, the derived sketch, I think, combines all, all three of the, uh, the key point and the cross curves into a single curve. Now I'm using the split, and I'm going to split this at a uh, at a point hopefully okay here we are and I found this workflow difficult I mean I I didn't get this the first shot and didn't even get it the third shot I had to work uh, work through this a few times and I'm not sure why I succeeded in the end um, 
So anyway, then I create a blue surf that goes from this edge to the split point that I just created and use those two side curves as uh, essentially guide curves. Now there's two things I'm uncomfortable with here towards the tip. There's a little bit of a wave and uh, out at that end point, there's going to be a degeneracy. Um, still, just by looking at it, visual inspection, it looks pretty good. Can't really tell. So then I mirrored it, and the next step is to put some rounds on it. The mirror was pretty easy to do. It was pretty standard. But th the rounds, I really couldn't figure them out. Uh, I tried to do it by selecting edges, but in the end, all I could do was get them by selecting faces. And uh, I'm getting that warning that says partial result or partial success, which, uh, you know, I'm partially happy about, I guess. So um, uh, it, it did it did work out. The, the part looks nice. Um, there's a couple of things I'm a little uncomfortable with, but uh, I would say overall, nice job, Solid Edge.